I had a nightmare last night. I dreamt of my husband, Alonso. He was in a prisoner cage, and a siren was slowly stalking towards him. Then Alonso spotted me in the distance and yelled, Jane! I'm right here! Come save me, please! Don't leave me alone! Please! And then I jerked awake and realized I had to come back to save my husband. Because if I don't do it, who else will? When we last left off, I believe we just found a cryptic message inside the lock here, or the safe here, and we have to take it to a relayograph clerk at some town to be able to decipher it. And that's gonna tell us where my husband is. I think we probably have to walk back to the outside then, because we're in a cave right now. Oh, Golden Ace of Spades. You found a golden ace of spades. These mysterious artifacts can be used from your journal to acquire new perks. Oh, didn't even see this last time. This window. Locksmith, gain 25% chance to save one of your lock picks from breaking when picking a lock. Perks you've learned in previous journeys will be remembered when you enter the life of a new hero. Hmm, I didn't mention this in the first part. But apparently how this um, the setup of Weird West works is that we'll be playing as five different characters. You can kind of see there are silhouettes here, so we're not going to be, you know, just rescuing our husband here, but um... I suspect it has to do with the portraits that we saw in the very first cutscene, but right now, everything is sort of shrouded in mystery, but okay, I see. Abilities are specific to the character that we're playing as right now, the bounty hunter. And perks are stuff that carry across, I guess? Find more money. Haggler. Reduce shop prices. Boosts posse members' damage output and maximum hit points by 15%. Which one's good? Healthy. Increase your maximum hit points by 10%. Do I? Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll leave it alone for now. Let this sit here for a while and then later on, after we see more, we can decide which one's actually good. Yeah, okay. You know, one thing that I've been finding is that because because we tend to have the camera like this. Sometimes it's really easy to overlook small details, like this freaking glowing card that I didn't even see. We really gotta like rotate all around, just um, look through all the nooks and crannies to make sure we've got everything. But at the same time, I feel like, like there's just no way we find everything because there's too much here. So I'll, I'll try my best. Oh my God, my freaking inventory is full already. God. Oh, I wonder if the light I guess the light affects the stealth, right? It should, but maybe not that candle light. Oh! Should I pick it? Sure. Sturdy bison hide vest. Oh, this is better than what I have already. Wear the stampede. Fire resistance. That would be good, because last time we almost burned down the entire forest by lighting that campfire. <laughs> Amulet of Windwalker. During windy weather, move more quickly. Oh. Oh man, okay. Ooh. Uh. Yeah, let me let me clear some of this out. Transfer to what? Oh, transfer through the chest? No, 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 that's not what I want. I want to open up here, and then, let's see. I have so much on me. I feel like I want to find a freaking merchant so they'll take my stuff and give me money. But we haven't even come across a single merchant yet. That's the... Um, the problem, I guess. So here's my vest. Let's equip it. And last time, I picked up a treasure map that I didn't look at yet. Here we go. Okay, now I can go back and pick up the amulet. Okay, we can have two amulets. Sure, a vest. Stuff, our equipment is slowly upgrading. That's good. The green is better, right? So I'll just equip all the green stuff I see. Seems like a good plan to me. Okay, let's get out of here then. Our current objective is to go back to the town anyway. So hopefully when we get back to some place with civilization, we'll find a merchant who wants to take my stuff. And actually, speaking of objectives, is it possible for me to turn off a few of those for now? Because they're kind of taking up space on the screen. These ones are all about treasure hunting, right? So maybe I'll just hide them and then we'll go back and do it. Whenever. Okay. Oh, a rope seems useful. Yeah, required for wells. But I can't pick up more! Like, I, I don't have space. 
<laughs> this is the same problem again. I've been avoiding the $8 junk, but even the $12 junk, there's a lot of it. Hmm, what? Oh my god, I didn't even clue in last time, but was this where they were prepared? Oh! Oh god, is this where they were preparing the cannibals? That's kind of... These guys didn't even want to do it, though. They're kidnapping people. Are they getting paid? Or is it basically just based off threat? They're scared. They'll die if they don't do it. But yeah, either way, a lot of people have died down here. Relay. Grackle up and running. Took a while, but Grackle's back in shape. General store, gun shop, relay office, all back in business. Relay office. And the bounty board's up, too. If you need some coin to make it where you're going. Come on back if you need supplies, all right? And if you need an extra set of irons, think about taking my deputy Monty along. He's been itching to put holes in a few still waters. Share Flora Albright. Okay, go back to Grackle. I have 10 days to recruit the deputy. Sure. Nobody's here, just a lot of blood. Stealing horses! Wait, look on the freaking map! Look at that! So much red! Stealing horses! Looks like Stillwater's backup has arrived. Need to get out of this sticky situation? You can always steal a horse and ride away from your current situation. <laughs> I've done it before already. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh god. There's a guy in the house. Okay, there's a horse... Okay, there was a horse right there. Do you think I can get the horse without... Oh, this is gonna be a constant thing, isn't it? Because we're pissing off the Stillwaters, so they're coming to get revenge for their fallen comrades and all that. Oh my god. Oh, they're finding lots of dead people. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bye! Discovering new territory. During your journeys on the travel map, you'll cross and review new uncharted territories. If you're lucky, you might discover secondary locations. Visit one of these unknown territories if you're on the hunt for new adventures, fame and fortune. But what about my husband? <laughs> Abandoned locations in particular often hold well-defended but precious loot, but be careful. Travel too deep into the Weird West too early, and you might wind up in places you're not prepared for yet. Now, we sort of know meta-wise that we're going to be playing as other characters later on. I wonder if it's going to be the same map. And these are the... Um, the treasure maps that we found. Oh, whoa, holy crap, the map is big! Way bigger than I imagined. Lots of stashes. Mm, let's go back. Go back to Grackle, get some money, sell some stuff, and then regroup. I think that would be um, a good idea. Blacksmith home safe. That blacksmith found his way back home. Kind-hearted of you. His wife says she's got something for you, if you find your way back here. Her pistol? <gasps> Feeling watched. You're being stalked. Oh! Oh! Oh, I, I can't do anything else. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Is this what happens if we travel at nighttime? Oh my lord. I thought sirens, I don't know, I, I was sort of under the impression that maybe the one siren that we saw killed the still water guy before. He was kind of like a higher, upper class sire. It's four at night. Oh dude, where are, where even are we? Holy crap. 
but sirens seem like they just show up all over the place then. Oh, God. And my horse ran away. Thanks a lot, Siren. Thankful to see they're not too hard to kill if I focus. But uh, still not a good idea to run into them too often. Now it's four in the morning and I'm in the middle of nowhere. Arrows. Not the bone. Wait. According to the, um, the ability screen, we should be getting bows too. So do you have a bow here for me? Can I have a bow? Just arrows? But sometimes we gotta look a little bit more careful. Whoa, oh! <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's just bones here. Oh, this is... I wasn't the first person stopped here. Copper bar. Flashbang. Flash... How do I use a flashbang? Throw to stun characters in target area, but where is it in my hotkeys? That part I'm not sure about. Because I can't equip it. And I'm looking on my screen right now. I don't see a flashbang anywhere. I guess we'll figure it out. Yeah. Is there a guarantee that we only get attacked once? between every destination. If so, I'm okay going back, but I'm just kind of worried because my health is a little bit low right now and I don't have a fire. So I'm just gonna eat all the cactus around here, just in case. Eat all the cactus, drink the juice. Oh dear God. When we find time after going back to the um, town, we also have to go back home. Because I realized um, in my shock and horror, from my kid dying and my husband being missing, I completely forgot about the very first message we saw about how, oh, go to your mailbox if you want your pre-order horse. Like, I just completely didn't even check my mailbox, so we gotta go back and do that. And I am apparently still being... Am I still being watched? It still says feeling watched. They're freaking me out. Okay, I think we're good enough now. My horse! Or my stolen horse. Oh, good lord. Where am I? In the middle. How many days? Six hours of travel? Oh, it's daytime already. Didn't even go to sleep. You know how it says that we have a limited amount of time to do certain things? But it doesn't say it's limited time for me to find my husband. So is it okay that I do all the limited stuff or at first? Does that make sense? Like, I, I just don't know if there's actually like a time limit, a hard time limit for me to find my husband. I hope not. But I don't know. Larry! Oblige you sprung me, Jane. Wasn't keen on becoming siren food. Think my wife's holding on to a reward for ya. Good. Jane! My Larry! You brought him home safe! And here I thought there were no more kind souls in the world. Here, take this. A quill and medley spirits touch. The family's prize revolver. And if you ever need to upgrade any of those weapons of yours, bring my husband some ore. He'll make those irons sing. Well, thank you, Jane. I feel like you should just be giving me upgrades for free, though, because I saved your husband, man. You've only got one of those. At least for now. <laughs> I can make... Okay, I have a bar, which means I can make a nugget. But why do I, um... I guess I'll try it. I'll make a nugget. But why though? How do I upgrade my weapon? Okay, if I upgrade my weapon, I need to use nuggets. Okay, so now that I have one silver nugget, one copper nu nugget, I guess I'll just have to store them until I have seven. But my, my inventory is so limited, I don't even know if I can carry all that on me. Hmm, I'll try my best. Well, glad to see that. The shops are open again, and they cleaned up. You can buy a horse from a stable in towns. Horses expand your inventory capacity. Oh, allow you to travel more quickly across a weird west, and can help you avoid ambushes on the trail. Unlike stolen horses, a horse you purchase won't flee when you reach your destination. So we gotta get that horse. Calamity, I think it was called. The Daggers and Dagger and Bones Trading Company. Trappers say there's someone poaching in the mills would of late. Need some fresh hides? 
No better stock than what the Dagger and Bones has to offer. Bows! Are bows stealthy? Bow of Mickey Neck. I don't have a single bow right now, so it might be worth buying. But at the same time, I've got so much here. Oh, it's only worth $2. That feels like it's kind of crappy. I can sell this. The flashbangs? I don't know how to use the flashbangs yet. Yeah, I mean, if if I get $2 for selling some guns, then I feel like I'd rather scrap them and get some bullets. Because bullets are pretty finite here. I can sell this. I don't need the bear skin vest. Okay. Is that all you buy? I guess so. Discount 7%. Prices in shops are affected by your reputation. You're standing with the shopkeeper and the haggler perk if acquired. Okay. Well, thank you. Oh, there's like a little... Is it windy weather right now? Is that the, the fast walking thing? Watch where you're going! All that blood. Do you mind? Oh, oh, okay. I thought she would get mad or something. Careful! We'll leave in style. Hey, what the? Oh, there's bars. What the heck? Oh, it's to prevent stealing. So people can't just come in and steal. <sighs> Gotta keep working. If I keep moving, I won't think about it. I see. Deputy! Kill any still waters lately? Oh, some kids were playing hopscotch here. There's so many little details that you don't see unless you've zoomed in. Well, I'm glad to see the town is recovering. Fresh merchant in town? Nah, too dangerous looking. We ain't gonna let those outlaws hit us again! Oh, this is uh, the school, I think. <laughs> no. I still have nightmares about those still waters. They took a whole bunch of adults, so a lot of the kids here probably are orphans now. My god. Recruiting companions. Saloons in the towns you visit are often great places to recruit mercenaries and other gunslingers. If you need some extra muscle, build up a good reputation and folk might even come to you. A couple of extra hands in your posse will increase your damage output. But if somebody catches a stray bullet, no worries. You can get a new person. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're not. They're dispensable, sure. So am I. And that's why I left the life, because I don't want to be dispensable. I want to live happily with my... My son and my husband, but the sirens say no. Whoa. Hey, this isn't cheating. I mean, uh, stealing. Thank you. Somebody pissed off their girlfriend or something. Poor boyfriend. Daniel Moore. Hey, you were the one who tried to sell your services to me before. Got the cash together? I promise I'm worth every penny. Nah, I, I'll look for the deputy first. If you look at the bottom, besides my own stats, it looks like we can have up to two people. There's one more square on each side. Do these people have stats? Hey there, got a proposition for ye. I'm the best bodyguard this side of Pig Eater Box, see? And it's your lucky day, because I'm for hire. Just a hundred dollars. Do you guys share scripts? That's the exact same thing the guy over there said. <laughs> Saloon host. Still tense up every time a stranger visits. We're rebuilding. It'll take time, but we'll manage. Your irons. Guess we should call you Bounty Hunter again? Oh, this is the same news as before. Marshall mandates universal aid request procedures for the relay. As the spirits begin to carry our fair readers across El Castillo Desert to the Millswood, from the shepherds to the marshes of Gavin's End, you may be pleased to hear reports that our own Marshall Trigon has ordered some certain sections of the relayograph receiver bands be reserved for calls for help and other such missives. In this manner, 
Travelers may reach each other with aid most swift. Praise the spirits. Sounds like something we'll be using later on then. Doctor's office? Hi. I can heal most any wound or malady. Sell you some bandages or elixirs too, if you need them. Fair warning. The more healing you need, the more you'll have to pay. I'll keep what I have. Yeah, thank you, but I'd rather just save my money and eat some cactus juice or something. No, it's expensive. Oh, man. She wants me to buy all of it. Which, fair enough. She's not running a charity here. Anyone need a paper? Okay, this is the main quest. This is the Relayograph clerk location. Fresh air at last. I ain't see your husband yet. You find anything yet? I've got this encrypted relay here. You found still water communications? Floods are quick. You'll need a relay clerk to decipher it. Guess some bounty hunter instincts ain't all gone yet. Yeah, thank goodness there's a clerk right across. Bounty board. Oh. Christian Fernandez. Outlaw. No member of the Hermanos Rojos. Wanted dead or alive. People we can hunt down. Kenneth Young. Stillwaters. Augustina Blanco. Night Hunters. Well, I guess I want the one with the most money, right? No? Huh? Or can I do more than one, actually? Oh, but we have a time limit. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll just accept one and see how that goes for now. I don't wanna... Um, can I accept more than one? It looks like I can. Oh, it shows me the days, or uh, the amount of hours it takes for me to um, get to them. Oh, the people I buried are still here. I kind of wondered about this person because Amanda Bell, she has the same last name as me. Maybe we're related. Hello, clerk. Whoa, I'm sorry. That's not my intentions. <laughs> Welcome to your friendly Relayograph office. We send and receive relays of all sorts. How can I be of service today? How does the relay system work? Power of lightning itself. Transmitter, receiver, we tap the code, the person on the other end translates it, and there you are. Instantaneous communication across vast distances, thanks to all them buzzing airwaves. Of course, if you have a portable relay, you wouldn't even need to be at a relay station. Those lucky few can receive messages on the road. Little antenna, wind-up crank, can you imagine? As newfangled as they are expensive. Can you decrypt this relay for me? Now, let's see here. Where in the seas did you get something like this? This is some serious encryption. I can decode it, sure, but it'll take a while. And $300 besides. Oh, I don't have that. You sure? Promise you I got the skill. I used to decrypt relays for Cleric Franciscus, his, his self, you know? Well, no problem, miss. You just let us know when your local Relayograph office can be of service. $300? How much do I even have? I have a hundred. I mean, I have a lot of crap I can sell, but no one's buying it. I need to find, like, a junk merchant somewhere. Okay, so that's probably why there's bounty boards and all that. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, I see. I see how this is. This bank. Would you like to buy a safe deposit box? Okay, I can't even buy a safe deposit box. Fine. I'm poor. I'm poor. Just gonna check out uh, some of these houses here. We haven't really looked at them last time. Ooh, those are some bullets. But it's somebody else's bullets, you know? Who's that? N n no reason. Ah, mailboxes. Betty Miller. Empty. Anybody else have a mailbox? 
One of the loading tips did say, hey, check out people's mailboxes frequently if you want to learn more about them. Was there a mailbox for the sheriff's station? Yeah. It's all empty, though. All right. Guns. Wash your woes away with fine new goods, friend. Oh, same stuff. I need you all to buy junk. Hey, where's the deputy? The specific deputy you're talking about. Was he back at the sheriff's office? So let me... Let me just scrap all of my crappy guns right now. Maybe except the one that I just got from Jane or Jean. This one, Spirit's Touch. Lower damage than mine right now, but more magazine, uh, more bullets. Well, it's not nice to scrap stuff that people gave to you, right? So I don't think I'll... For now, anyway, I won't scrap it. Everything else... Well, hopefully we can find somebody we'll, who will take all this stuff soon. Deputy! Oh, you were... You were at the bank. Uh... He went upstairs! <laughs> that might have been a... Uh, I'm not sure if that was a bug or not. <laughs> Hold on. See, he's talking about wanting to travel, but how do I get upstairs? Because the upstairs portion is... I gotta get through the bank door and he's... Yo, he's up... Dude! Oh no, you can see he's glitched there! Oh no! Uh, well, maybe what I'll do, we have nine days to recruit him. What I'll do is maybe I'll go back home. Let's go back home first, and then we'll come back and see if he's okay. Undertaker? I can still hear the screaming. Oh, it's so lively. There's so many interactables here. Okay, we need to find money. And we also need to find... A horse! Find a horse and find some money? Home. Nothing has changed. There's my mailbox. Calamity's bad ankle. There we go. Howdy, Jane! Just writing to let you know Calamity's ankle is healing up fine. She's not as young as when you, you when you two used to ride across the West hunting bounties, but she's still got plenty of fire in her, acting like a filly again, now that she's walking better. She's ready to head on home whenever you've got the time to pick her up. Flora even rustled up some spare saddlebags for her. Mint as you please. Morgan. P.S. Our cellar flooded again. You believe that? Good thing Calamity don't mind smelling the mud on me. Oh, so floods do seem to happen around here. Calamity. Supper after the spirit hall meeting. Jane. Ought to come to supper next week, after the preaching's done. Morgan's making his famous rabbit stew, Huck's favorite. Let me know when next you come into town, Albright. P.S. Hope Huck's liking that new teddy bear. Chloe insisted on sewing it special for his birthday. Oh. Mm. Last time we also picked up a shed key on the table, I think. And is this the shed? It is. Yeah, there you go. Got some supplies here. Grain. A uh, shovel. I'll leave the shovel here for now, because I know where I can find it. I already have another one on me, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the, the main reason why I came back. And we're good now. Glue. Where is the general store? Was there a general store back in Rakul? Whoa, got a bunch of... Is that supposed to be like me or something? Wanted posters? Of me? Because I used to be a great bounty hunter? Maybe. Albright Stead. Sheriff Albright and her family built this home with her own hands. Oh, it's her home. Okay. Sounds like a good place for us to go to next. Get my horse. We have 14 days to do our bounty. Hopefully it'll be okay. We need the horse to make the rest of our journeys faster. 
takes four hours just to walk over to her freaking place. Oh, there's snakes! There's snakes! Let's be careful. Hey! Morgan! Please stay safe out there. Worse than the still waters in the west. Is this the sheriff's husband? The cleric says we gotta watch out for witches. They make people into monsters. Oh. Another instance of the, the sheriff being the badass woman and the husband is the, the stay-at-home husband. <laughs> Common folk literature. Glenn Mills, Hero of the West. The Millswood, that deep, dark expanse of wilderness north of El Castillo Desert, is one of the most fruitful hunting grounds in the West, which a man of Glenn Mills' stature could not fail to recognize as soon as he set foot in it. Upon his first sight of the forest, comrades say he uttered an oath of wonder, and that very day, ordered the company that would become the first Dagger and Bones to scout for a location to build their settlement. This is stealing. I can't steal my friend's stuff. No. Oh no, it's raining. But that's my that's my horse. Okay. Oh. Hey. They've got a Ace of Spades card as well. And some basic supplies. Good. Good. You know what? I'll put some supplies here as well. Maybe like my my meat. I have a lot of it. I don't think I need this much meat. Should probably sell some of this stuff. What do I want to put here? I don't know. Extra bandage, taking up a slot. Five is the maximum per thing. Six cents elixir. See living creatures through obstacles for 30 seconds. Dr. Long's anti-venom. Drink to remove poison status. That's probably something good to have on me. Okay, the rest of this stuff I guess I'll just... Uh... Oh, Huck's teddy bear. And then the, the wedding band. Uh, I want it on me, but I don't want to lose it. What if my horse dies? It can't, right? It better not. <laughs> oh, I know. The nuggets. Bed rolls can be resold for cash. We can't even sleep in the bed rolls. How much space is there here? Oh, quite a bit. Oh, we should put everything in here then. All the stuff that we want to sell until we find the person who wants to buy it. It's just taking up space, right? Moonshine causes drunkenness. Okay, I think we're... I think we're good for now. Is this the only reason I came here? Morgan? Please stay safe out there. Worse than the still waters in the west. Maybe because I came after the um, still water thing happened at Grackle. Maybe if I came before that, we'd see something else. Okay, we need money. Where is the bounty? The bounty's so far away. Oh my god. Does having a horse actually change the times? It seems like it doesn't, because this one is 17 hours. Oh. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to Grackle. So I can try to get the deputy again. Towns at night. Shops and other businesses close for the night in towns. You can use the loiter option to wait until morning, or you can take the opportunity to break in when there's no one around to see you. Note that characters who are sleeping can be pickpocketed for additional gains. <laughs> Do I want to be a lawful person or... Oh, I don't know. That's a tough one. Because it does seem like I'm having a lot of trouble getting the funds right now, so maybe... You know, maybe it's a good idea to do some borrowing. Here you are. Jane, heard about your kids. Them bastards. I met you to kill me some still waters. How about bringing me along? For free! Oh, he's stronger than me. This posse is going places. Talk to your posse members at any time to check on their inventories, order them to equip a different weapon, or dismiss them. They will equip and use any vest and bandages you give them. Oh, I sold my vest. Don't panic if they die, though, because you can get new people. <laughs> I'll feel bad. 
The storm's been acting up again. I could get another one, but I don't have that much money. Okay, let's go then. Let's go. Do you have a horse? Oh, you can ride on the back of my horse. Let's go to the stash. Okay, if we go here, then going to other places later on might take a while. That's what I'm worried about. Coyote zip. Oh no, I got the cactus instead. Oh! Thanks, buddy. One more soul harvested. Yeah, I don't even know if we should be picking up the meat because it seems to just take up a lot of space for now. Oh, the vultures are here already. That was fast. Okay, so there's a... There's a treasure somewhere here. Well, it's not here. What is this? Just previous, like, little stone columns? Previous houses that are... No longer standing. I'll take that. We have to be a little bit more selective about the stuff we pick up. I don't even know where to find a general store. We gotta sell my stuff. Seriously. The bars, I think we always need. Okay, so... Hold on. Hmm? Oh! Oh, the treasure stash is right here! Oh, because it's... It's conspicuously got like a few rocks surrounding it? Oh! Well, there you go. Silver nugget? Oh, but I might want to keep these things so I can upgrade my weapons. I don't know if we want to sell them. At least I got $17. Not the greatest, but hey, it's a start. Everybody's fortune's gotta start somewhere, right? And I guess we also have to be careful about going back to the horse too, because if we travel, like, we're here, we're probably not gonna take the horse with us. Alright, let's go. Okay. We still have 14 days before we have to get the bounty, so I don't think we have to hurry up super fast. What about this stash? Should we get all the stashes first? This one's really far. Yeah, maybe I should have accepted all the bounties back at Grackle. Hmm, we'll see. Didn't get stopped. Ooh. A hive disturbed. Are those people? What are those? I think there's some kind of zombie. Do I have to worry about my horse getting beat up? I hope not. Yeah, there's some kind of... Um, not a siren. Ooh, look at their head. There's like... Ooh, there's flies crowding all around. But they're dumb. That's the thing about zombies. Hey, Monty! You and me. You take the guy. Oh my dear god. What, what? What the? Ridgeback. Whoa! Whoa, he's sending something after me! What the? Yo, buddy! Oh! oh no, oh no. Oh my god. Oh, dude! Oh, my shrapnel did nothing. I'm poisoned! Monty's poisoned! Whoa! What the hell have we stumbled upon? What even was that? Oh! <gasps> I... Oh, I can cure my poison. But it's gone already. It's fine. Oh, 
What the hell? Now we're starting to see some really supernatural stuff here. It's freaking me out. Grasses, but no cactuses, so I can't even eat anything. Oh no. But here we are. Is it worth it? Better be. Nymph Relic. $18? Oh, this is gonna take forever for us to get $300. We gotta do more bounties then. We should go back and accept a few more. Eventually. We don't even learn about them though. That guy was called a Ridgeback and the other one was called Ridgeback Queen. What the heck is a Ridgeback? Hmm. Okay. We leave then. We now have 130 bucks. It's it's not that great of progress, but we'll we'll get there eventually. We have to be quick though, because my husband is waiting all this time. I don't want more nightmares. <laughs>